Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are doing the world debut of Alliance's brand new travel trailer. Allow me to introduce the 2024 Alliance Delta Model 262RB. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, and then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited to be doing the world debut of the Alliance Delta. A very awesome travel trailer that we have actually been a big part of help designing it. We're a small piece, but it's really cool to see some of our ideas implemented, implemented into an actual travel trailer. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey, it's Andrea. Hi, everybody. Andrea, why are you here in Elkhart, Indiana? I don't know. I guess you guys are just going to have to stick around and see why. Andrea, we have a big announcement. Yes. Listen, everybody's dropping their world debut today. Yes. We Make have sure. something that nobody else is going to have in their video. So what do they got to do? They got to stick around to the end. Stick around to the end, everybody. You ready, Andrea? I am ready. Let's begin. Model is Delta 262RB. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 29 feet, seven inches. Andrea, that is today's tip to tip. I forgot to mention, this is a prototype. Everything that you see, if you're ordering one of these, there might be some slight differences based off of the feedback that people are doing now that they actually got these built. Also, if you look over there, we have another one that we will be reviewing in two days from now, uh, and that's the bunkhouse version. Delta Alliance, I absolutely love it. Very beautiful uh, fiberglass front cap. I love the LED light design. Right over here, we do have a power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Now, Andrea, this travel trailer is going to be dry weight in the low 6,000 pounds. What I do know, floor plans very similar to this is around 63, 6,400 pounds dry. Again, we don't have an exact number currently. Okay, coming on down. If you take a step back, if you guys notice, notice how high this sits. And if you look underneath there, it's actually built on a drop frame for a travel trailer. So when you open this up, look at Incredible. that amount of exterior storage. Look at this. You never get this type of exterior storage. Look, and then there's so much stuff. So right here, we got coax. We got USB and USB-C right here. Power right there. And then this is how you can run your cords. Okay, there's an outdoor shower right here. And then Andre, do you know what this is? I do. That is the awning control. Andre, you're telling me I can put my awning in and out from the outside so I can look to see if I'm going to hit any trees or anything? That's right. And you can also do it from the inside, which is even crazier. I absolutely love this feature. This was a feature that was um, implemented by Alliance from the Alliance community. And if you guys are in the market for any travel trailer, fifth wheel, or toy hauler, do yourself a favor, join Alliance RV Group on Facebook um, because it, one, is such a good community and it will really tell you the reason why you should buy an Alliance over another brand. And it's because they're a manufacturer that actually listens to the consumers. This is so cool, Matt. Where, that's where they're getting their feedback. Look at this. You have a full size table right here. Now Andrea, that is something I do not see. This is not a table made by Alliance. This is the type of table. Oh, thank you, ma'am. This is the type of table that you get at Walmart. This is an actual 72 inch length table that fits in that pasture storage. Absolutely amazing. Cause everybody knows when you get to your it's campsite, right the first thing you're doing is probably cooking out. And to have an actual table that you can bring with you, fan freaking fantastic. Coming on down here, we do have a very nice Furion Instant Hot Tankless Water Heater. Right over here. Check this out. That's Talking about cooking out. 
Look oh at goodness. that. This is a very nice gray stone cooktop. Again, rumor has it this might alter a tiny bit. Not 100% sure, but here's what won't alter. It will definitely be a cooktop of some sort. Okay. I like that it's on the tray. The tray says Delta. Yes. There is an electrical outlet right here. Yes, ma'am. And then look at these tires, Andrea. Yeah, they're the Goodyear Endurance tires. I love those. They are ST225-75 R15 with very nice looking rims and traditional Dexter axles there. Coming on down here, Andre, we do have a nice black door. Okay. Now, that door is really sleek looking. Yes. Uh, we do have solid steps and something that we're doing a little different, Andrea. Take a peek of the inside with the slide outs sure. closed. Don't show the bathroom, just show this area. Okay. Oh, oh, nice. This is nice because look, even with it closed, I can still walk around in here pretty easy. You can still access the fridge. Yes. You can get to that. You cannot get to the master bedroom, but this is what it looks like when the slide outs are in. Okay. Coming around, Andrea, we do have manual stabilizing jacks underneath here with the option of auto leveling. I love that. I told Ryan, so for those of you guys that don't know, we're really good friends with the Brady's. Ryan reached out. He was like, Matt, if you're making a travel trailer, what would you want? I think I gave them 21 or 22 key things, and I think they were able to accomplish like 19 or 20 of them, a really good portion. And one of the big ones was auto leveling, and the fact that it's an option on here from the factory. That's love such that. a big deal. Coming around the back, Andre, we do have a 2,000 pound hitch, uh, but you can't tow anything behind you. It's good for 200 pounds of vertical weight. That's what I meant to say. 200 pound hitch, not not for towing it even says not for towing uh prep for a backup camera right here's your hookup andrea 50 amp hookup standard no 30 amp now here's the thing you can still use a 30 amp campsite but it is 50 amp on all of their deltas and look at how wide this ladder is look at this metal ladder this was one of the things i told ryan i said hey ryan on wills avenue you guys gave him a metal ladder you have to do the metal ladders from here on out and they obliged. And Andrea, let's go up on the roof and take a look. Now, Matt, you can also use that for hanging towels and stuff. Yes, ma'am. And watch how much this ladder flexes with me climbing okay. it. Okay, hold on. Watch it flex. Did you see it flex? Not at all. Exactly. <laughs> up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece PVC roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Right there, King Air digital antenna. And then here it's 200 watts of solar and you can or 200 amps of solar and you can get an option with up to 550. hold on here we go now you know i feel better with you climbing up that ladder look how wide this ladder yeah definitely safe great and if you haven't already make sure everybody smashes that thumbs up button what are the rv salesman taking his fat ass up on the roof showing you what features the roof has to offer nobody on a world debut nobody yes ma'am nobody finishing up over here, here's where you dump your tank, right there. Over here, Andrea, you saw that U-shaped dinette on the inside. They're able to give you a little bit more nice. storage. Total cubic storage on the outside is 71 cubic feet, which is the most of any travel trailer, especially one this you size. You do not see storage like this on travel trailers. Yep, if you take a step back, look at the awesome look, black, silver, and white. It looks really, really good. And then Andre, here's the other side of the storage. I'm really liking the storage. Okay, it's prepped for the Lipper Tire Link. Battery disconnect, wet bay. Here's another outdoor shower port. There's three of these. And you can actually, this is the industry first, you can actually set hot or cold water for your outdoor shower. I love how they made this just like a fifth wheel, which gives you this incredible storage. And then Andrea, look at this. I want you to push that button. Okay. But I want you to look at me. I'm a tree. Uh-oh, what's that? <laughs> See, this Make is- Make sure you don't hit me. This is great, guys. Having slide access right here. Why is that great? So you're not shouting from the inside? Is there anybody there? Am I How clear? How close am I to the tree? Am I gonna hit the tree? You're not gonna hit the tree. You better be sure on You're good. Out. Are you good? Wow. 
Andrea, Andrea, crisis averted. Nice. Love that feature. That was not our idea. That was not part of my 21 checklist, but Ryan told me he got that from the Alliance Owners Group, which is absolutely amazing. That ownership and leadership is not listening to RV industry experts like myself and everybody who's been in the industry for 25 years. They're not, they're listening to the customer. That's right. And then to get this slam latch door. I love it. Fan freaking tastic. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Delta looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Take a look at the inside. Oh, wow. Okay, everyone. I am walking through. Look how spacious it is. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna walk back here through the master bedroom. And let's see. Now I'm gonna walk back to the bathroom. Yes, ma'am. Huge bathroom. Okay. Andrea, we're wow. doing this live. So everybody who's watching this live, drop a comment down below. Let us know your first impressions of the interior. While you guys are commenting on that, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. All right, Andrea, we're gonna start right here. So right here, Andrea, you saw how we controlled the awnings and the slide outs. We actually have the buttons right here as well. One of the big things that Alliance was talking about is the simplicity of just it being buttons. Do you know what I'm saying? The touch screens are very nice, but it's also nice to have an actual button. Right over here, we do have a little jacket holder, right? Coat rack. Coat rack, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And then over there, Andre, why don't you sit on those theater seats oh, right I there? Oh, Oh, yes. Theater seats very right there. Now, I thought these were a gray color, but Andreas thinks they're more of like a light brown color. What, what color are you thinking? They look like a tote. Okay. Ooh. Right there, you got a remote holder. Okay, and Matt, it's got a USB right here. It's yes. got lights. Look yes. at that. Yes, very nice. Very nice. And another USB right here. Yes, and USB-C. Wow. And they do recline yes. back. Both seats do recline. It's actually very comfortable. Check this out. We do have very big windows. I told that. I said the bigger the window, the absolute better. And they do have slow rise privacy blinds and then check out these valances huh these valances approved Bing! oh andrea loves those valances they're cute even with that little tiny trim on there yes and then directly across from the inter uh, sofa seats is the entertainment center you do have storage uh, there nice sansui television okay right over here we have huge amounts of storage Andrea. that's for your that's your pantry right there yes huge and then below is uh, a little bit more storage there your fuse box and matt so what they did right there is they put kind of their sound bar up here okay so it wouldn't take up space over here for storage yes please notice pet friendly there is no heat ducts in the floor i absolutely love that not only that, they did make it flush floor right over there. Oh, look, there's like lights underneath the chair. Fan for That's fantastic. That's really cool. Yes, ma'am. Right over here, Andrea, we do have a very nice U-shaped dinette. It does drop down to make a bed. Storage underneath here. And then storage 
underneath here. Very nice. Something else that I want to point out. Notice the very high ceilings in here. Fan freaking tastic. You know what I'm saying? And then Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, MSRP on this travel trailer here is... We don't know. <laughs> Literally, we are one of the very first people to shoot this prototype, so they don't even have the exact pricing dialed down. But Andrea, by the time this video is out, we'll have the MSRP right here. Oh, thank you, Miss Jen, for thank showing you, Jen. everybody the MSRP. But Andrea, we can't advertise lower than MSRP because it's a current model year. But you know what we do do? It is our promise to be the number one alliance dealership. And it is my duty to become the number one Delta dealership. And there's a reason why you got to stay till the end. So if you guys are interested in this unit, please go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. Get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to my team at General RV. We sell alliances nationwide and it's our duty to get everybody the absolute best price in America. And I'm gonna fill you guys in on a little secret, but you will see that at the very end. Andrea, check out this kitchen. Okay, oh my goodness. I love like the little decor in here. Yes. All right, so look at this cabinetry. It's very interesting. Um, it's nice because it's like a plexiglass. Yes. So it's not glass, and you can't see through it, which is nice. You have a uh, counter extension here. Okay. Even though there's lots of counter space, I think they did a great job there. Yes. They have a really nice sink here with an extension. And notice how the um, thing's the not centered. The on the side, yep. This is really cool. Look at this. Hey, that's a $156 trash can. That. Congratulations. Might be more. It's humongous. That's a huge trash can. It is, but I love this. You never see this. And over here, we've got good storage. Yes, ma'am. I like that they gave you the window here. Uh-huh. They got lots of counter space. We've got the drawer here. Very nice. Now, nice look at little this. silverware. Yeah, for your utensils. And then that pushes forward so mm. you don't lose any space. Very nice. And then we've got another drawer here. Yes, ma'am. And then a third drawer there. And then above the microwave, there's more storage. We've got the Greystone microwave. Okay, okay. Uh, we got a hood range. Hood range. <laughs> Three burner propane cooktop. Okay. Period. Okay. You do get an oven. Very nice. There's a drawer down here. Yeah. And then look at this. We've got the Furion compressor refrigerator. All right. Very nice. Good size. You know we love our Furions. This is very nice. Very sleek looking, right? Yes. Okay, Andrea, are we doing the bedroom or the bathroom? Let's do the bedroom. Okay. Coming on into this bedroom, now, another thing that I really recommended to Alliance was a huge doorway. You know what I'm saying? This big doorway is super important because at the end of the day, it is a small travel trailer. And so to have big doorways just makes it feel more open and airy. Coming on in through It has the a nice pocket door on it too, Matt. Yes, we do have a nice queen size bed. Windows on both sides. And then check out this storage. Now this is cool because you have an adjustable shelf in there, so if you want to hang clothes, you can take that shelf out. Same storage on the other Same side. Same storage over here. Thank you. And then over here, so you do you, you can hang stuff, you can also fold stuff, but this you can just take out if you want to hang stuff. Andrea, I just discovered something yes. new. Yes! So right there, so when we got like an epoxy pour countertop here, power USB, USB-C, little hidden storage yes. right there. Very cool. And then also, a drawer right here. Yes, we got a good size drawer. You got the same on the other side. Yes. And what's cool is we also here's where you would mount a TV. Have storage under the bed. Yeah. Look at this. I love how this moves. Yes. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> it makes it easy to get to like your linens and stuff. Yes, ma'am. And then wrapping on up into the master bathroom, Andrea. This is what it is. A huge oh. bathroom. Look and at look, the step up is not bad. Oh my gosh. 
This is a 30 by 36 shower, Andre. I know Will's not here. Will, where are you? But this is huge. This definitely gets the shower test seal of approval. And look, they put a Nautilus shower door on there. Love I this. like that. Love this. Over here. Okay, so you got a nice big. Oh! Oh, liquefy! Where did that come from? The best RV toilet treatment, Andre. That's our brand. Ryan actually yes. had some in his office. So we were able to show everybody. Guys, if you want some of that, that is our brand of black tank treatment. Go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up a bottle. And then Andre, you know something that I noticed? Big double mirrors right there. Yes, I love it. Look at this. Lots of counter space here. Yeah. You know, to get ready, you got a good size sink. Uh, right here, we have some storage. Yeah. And then you get drawers. Very, very nice. Really good size. And yes. then one thing that's super cute is that I noticed, Matt, is you have these little cubbies over here to put like towels and stuff. Yes, ma'am. Now, Andrea. There's a message from Ryan Brady at the very, very end of this video. <laughs> so I'm not even gonna spoil it, but here's what I will say, Andrea. Porcelain toilet, tons of space. This is the primest of pooping positions. Ding! Very nice. And then something that we missed was down there, Andrea. Oh yeah. There is a little foot storage down there. Oh, nice. Andrea, I love this travel trailer. So many good things about it and so many. Yes. But as nice as it is, Andre, it's time to oh, give people three things we love about this unit and three things we just don't like. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, let's do the three dislikes first. Let's just get it out of the way. Okay. I forgot mine. One. What was my second one? No, that. that oh, was that number two? Mm -hmm. Okay. Andrea, dislike number one. Remember how I said I gave Ryan a list of 20, 21, 22 things? Yes. One thing that was huge, I don't like these theater seats. I, but, but I also told him U-shaped dinette, right? So because of U-shaped dinette, there's only so much space. So it has to be these theater seats, womp womp. I like the ones that's a little bit wider. That's the theater seat sofa hybrid because with the way we camp, my little Yuno know, would be sitting here and then she'd be able to lay down. I don't know if there's a way to get that in. I'm not sure. That's just, for me, the way we camp, that's dislike number one. Because Yuno know, likes to lay down and put her head on my lap. Andrea, dislike number two? Uh, dislike number two for me, although I love everything in here, the, the modern interior. I'm not a fan of the, the countertop uh, decor. I'm okay. just, I'm not a fan of the pattern. Yeah. yeah, here's what I will say. I concur with you. It did. It is looking a little bit better now that they got like the... Right, the decor. Right, but still, something's just... Yeah. Maybe maybe it's not the countertop. Maybe it's like the backsplash or whatever. It's the same. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like Maybe maybe it's too much of one. Here's you know what, what I do. Here's like, what, what I do know. Maybe they should have just kept this and then did something else up here. Here's what I do know. If Andrea did ever design one of these, <laughs> I, I, I know she'd do a good job designing Thank it. Thank you, Matt. That's number two. Dislike number three for me, it's really tough because I'm, I'm you know, when you, get, when you give your 20, 20, 22 things that you look for in travel show and they accomplish it, <laughs> it's really hard to find a dislike. Here's what I will say. I'm gonna say, I wish there was a fireplace here. Don't get me wrong. I do love the storage here. And it doubles as like a pantry, which if it had a fireplace, Andrea would, Andrea's dislike would be that there's no pantry. But, you know, I don't know if they could have made like a thin fireplace there. I don't know. But an electric heater fireplace would have been pretty nice. That's, that's three things we don't like about Andrea. And now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Would you like to go first? Oh, sure. Go okay. first. I, I am just really in all of this travel trailer. It's really nice. It's really crazy. So what I really like about this, Matt, is I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Dang it, okay, um, go. I just like how big this bathroom is. Yes. I I could do this. Yes. You know, I love this, the size of the shower. I love the storage here. And I don't feel claustrophobic in here at all. It's a so, huge bathroom. Yes, they did a great job. Good job. Shower Ryan. test seal of approval, prime poop position. Absolutely fantastic. That's number one. Andrea, number two, I'm going to say the high ceilings, the flush floor, the theater seats across from the television, a U-shaped dinette, the kitchen, the feng shui in here is absolutely fantastic. And again, comboing that with the big door openings. 
As I mentioned on the outside, two AC units on a travel trailer like this. Andre, the feng shui, the feel in here is absolutely fantastic. And that's like number two. And then Andrea, we need a like number three that's huge. Oh, I know. Unless it's you got so something. It's so huge. Talk to me. The outside storage. Absolutely, Andrea. The exterior storage here, the Goodyear tires. I said Goodyear tires were an absolute must. Instant hot tankless water heater. I love that how the table goes in. It slides in right there. I mean, it's unbelievable what they have done. Just like that. And then to have, I'm going to combo that, Andrea, not just the exterior storage, but the buttons for the awning and the, and the buttons for the slide out on the other side. That is feedback from actual RVers. This is feedback from the Alliance community on what they like, and I absolutely love that. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. I think we got to go inside and talk to Ryan Brady about something. You ready to go take a look? You ready to go talk to him? Yes, let's go. All right, guys. Dre, you got the check? I got the check, Matt. All right, let's uh. Here we go. Yeah. Don't lose that check. After you, Andrea. Thank you. After you. Look where we are. Hey, hey congratulations. Hey. So first and foremost, what do you guys want to say to the camera? Well, we are really excited about this, uh, Matt and Andrea. This is awesome news. Excited that you've placed a brand new order for a Delta travel trailer. Uh, this yeah. is a very exciting day for us. Super exciting. I know, uh, Matt, we've been talking a lot, um, and you've really kind of helped uh, in the design of the product. So couldn't be more excited for you and really for us that you're going to be camping in a brand new Delta. I'm, I'm excited to join the family. And, and again, what I told people is, I didn't design it, but it was just one little percent. And the fact that you guys asked us, your other dealer partners, your ally families, the yep. Facebook groups, yeah. the amount of feedback and form that you guys took just for one product was really amazing. Well, it's been a work in process. I mean, it's gone, we're going back to fourth quarter of 2022. We've been really pouring a lot of time and energy and effort into this product development. It wasn't something that happened overnight. So it's been a you know eight month, nine month process. Um, just to get these first few travel show hats and we're excited again to be building yours in uh, I think July. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and one thing that uh, we almost did it, but we had you in mind, and obviously we talked through it, but we had the porcelain toilet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. And the one thing I do want to add is uh, I'm actually spending my own money on this. We're actually <laughs> buying this. Uh, we're not getting given it to us. You guys should have given us one. Just yeah. so <laughs> but um, here's my ceremonial check. For me buying this. Wow. Very good. Thank you. Good. Thank Thank you. you. This is our thing. This is our so exciting. It's so we're, awesome. We are so excited. And we will be seeing you on the we road did. for it's sure. Yes. Amazing Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're watching this video. We are now taking orders on Delta. Go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. Uh, click the link down in the YouTube description below. Uh, you can get there from mattsrvreviews.com. Or I'm adding a third thing. Since we are the very first owners of a Delta, I'm calling my travel trailer Delta One, by the way. Since we are the very first owners of one, uh, if you guys have any questions and you want to talk to me about it, send me an email. It's matt at mattsrvreviews.com. Or if you have other Alliance questions, you can always email Will. It's Will, W-I-L, at mattsrvreviews.com. We are now both Alliance owners because we love the company that much and we, we know what they believe in and it's just an amazing company. With that said, I am not the one giving you a quote. If you're sold on this unit, click the link, generalrv.com slash mattscash. That will take you to a member of my team. But if you have questions and you're not 100% on this unit, feel free to send me an email directly. Andrea, what say you? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Alliance, we do know they read the comments. We, we know they watch the videos. So especially with this being new, please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.